Well, it's it's really just just a great opportunity for for me. You know, I was fortunate to come down here for the 40th annual, and was able uh, to uh, complete the course, finish the race, and uh, and also again in 2008 for the 41st. And so it was a big dream of mine to come down here for the to run the 50th, and uh, it was just uh, with the wide open Baja challenge, it allowed me to to, uh, to be able to come out and do it. Otherwise, it's pretty difficult logistically uh, for us to do it from back in Illinois. So. It was just a great opportunity for us to, to get come down here and do this. Uh, so it's uh, pretty exciting. I mean, tomorrow tomorrow's the uh, start of the race. It's uh, our team's second running of the Baja 1000. So we uh, we're just kind of yeah, kind of looking forward to it. <laughs> And it looks like you got some sponsors out that helped you. It's, it's really just just a great opportunity for for me. You know, I was fortunate to come down here for the 40th annual, and was able to, uh, to uh, complete the course, finish the race, and uh, and also again in 2008 for the 41st. And so it was a big dream of mine to come down here for the to run the 50th. And uh, it was just uh, with the wide open Baja challenge, it allowed me to to, uh, to be able to come out and do it. Otherwise, it's pretty difficult logistically uh, for us to do it back from back in Illinois. So. It was just a great opportunity for us to, to get come down here and do this. Buenas noches, everybody. Bienvenido a la Baja Mio. Have fun, be safe, and uh, thank you, White Open, all the crews. Uh, so it's uh, pretty exciting. I mean, tomorrow tomorrow's the uh, start of the race. It's uh, our team's second running of the Baja 1000s. Wide open service is uh, incredible as always. Um, this is our second race with them. Uh, it's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had.
going through contingency to get along. This is going to be amazing. The BC5 is going to the front. Michael Speedy Gonzalez, Marco Gonzalez Racing, the Baja 1000. Thanks for everything. See you at the end. I think the person who's going to win this race is the one that's most prepared. It's a long race and uh, it's going to take it one mile at a time. Second time around, ready to go. Really excited. This is Nick and Eric. We're from. GS, GSI and we are ready for Baja 1000. Yeah, we didn't come down here to mess around. We, yeah. we wanted a tough course. I think we're going to have it today. You know, there's a lot of good races here. Mark Stahl, former Baja winner, and uh, a lot of other good teams here. It's going to be a great race. We're really looking forward to it. I, I really don't know what to say. I just hope we have a good, a good safe race and everyone uh, can come out of it. Gracias. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's pretty stiff, you know. There's there's uh, some great teams here. There's you know teams of, you know the BF Goodrich team is obviously gonna be a tough team to beat. The uh, there's a, a team that's uh, done done a lot of uh, race around the world with the car and and, uh, and uh, slip road race. So uh, you know there's 12 teams and and there's uh, I think there'll be four or five teams that are really, you know very competitive. Somewhat know what to expect, but obviously it's a long, long race this year, and there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of the trail and a lot of the course that we haven't seen. And
it's our second second year doing this. Um, for the Baja 1000, we've also uh, done a uh, bunch of different tours with uh, Wide Open, and I can honestly say their their uh, their service and their um, you know their their chase cars and and crews and 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 pit stops and and everyone uh, do an amazing job, and they they get the cars there at the end and. Um, it, it's it's pretty amazing all the all the hard work that all these guys put in to, to get us there at the at the end. isn't for sissies. If you can't overcome a little adversity, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You're going to finish. Had a couple of dead CVs, got stuck in the sill twice, but here we are. Still second, and we don't have any breaks, so we did pretty good. We persevered. is relatively fast from the best I could tell. We didn't spend a whole lot of time pre-running. I uh, wish we had, but everything I've seen so far is uh, a little bit faster than normal. And, you know, there's some tough sections, a lot of silt that we're going to be encountering. But all in all, I think it's a typical Baja 1000 course. Yeah. This guy's the best one. Yeah. Yeah. It was rough. This is the roughest race on the planet. Uh, and we got the 20th year for wide open, 50th for uh, score, and on a side note, it's a 10th year anniversary of uh, a death day of my brother and sister, so this is what this is for. And, uh... Champagne! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
it's, uh, it's, it's great to finally uh, actually race in a car. We've been coming down here for years, um, working with other teams, but uh, actually getting in the car, racing Baja 500 this year is, uh, is great. It's an awesome feeling. Compared to the, uh, the San Felipe 250, this course is going to be a lot faster. There's going to be a lot more dirt roads, high speed. So we expect to, to, to overall finish our time being a lot better than the 250. But, just, but also it has a San Felipe section with it full of whoops, all kinds of dangers out there too. Oh, I am, I am unbelievably stoked. I mean, I've been coming down here and spectating these races ever since I was an ankle biter. And to be down here behind the driver's seat of this vehicle and seeing the atmosphere and being a racer down here and getting everyone to sign my autograph when I'm like, who am I? You know, it's, it's a great feeling down here. We're super stoked to be down here and couldn't be more excited to race. It's an absolute dream come true. Like I said, we've been doing this as a family-oriented thing for years. and growing up dreaming like, oh, one of these days we're going to be this guy, we're going to be this team, and it's so surreal now, so it's, it's unbelievable and you can't even put words to it. Michael's going to start the race, Michael's going to start uh, uh, here in Ensenada, and more or less uh, race mile 240, we're going to do a pit stop, get fuel, and we're going to do the driver change there. I'll get in the car and then I'll do the San Felipe loop and uh, finish the race. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we were just told a little while ago that we finished this race, we finished the 1000, we'll be the first Baja Challenge team to ever get the points championship. So it's, uh, that just makes it that much better now. Yeah, I just heard that not too long ago, and that is definitely going to be something off a bucket list to uh, have a score championship with my father. And for us to be the first ones in this class to take it, if everything plays out right, it'll be an emotional day for sure. Emotional day. I know we've, we pre-ran a good amount of it, but come race day it's going to be totally different. Things are going to be flooded, things are going to be a lot more rutted out. Um, I take in the first 250 miles, so I, I'm definitely just going to take care of the vehicle, make sure we make the whole full 500 miles, so my dad can definitely get it uh, to the finish line.
Getting a good feeling for this in San Felipe, I know this car is going to be able to take a really good beating and we can definitely charge hard, but that's too not, not too much the goal for this race. We're going to definitely take it easy and uh, practice for the 1000, but this car can definitely take a beating. It feels great, handles great, and makes me want to get rid of my old race car. Well, since day one, the first time we did an excursion uh, uh, was wide open. The, the service, the cars is, have been awesome. Well, we did some pre-running. We did uh, the whole Baja 250. We pre-ran it. Uh, the pit support that these guys do, the mechanics, and these guys were on it. They, they fixed everything, got us to finish line, and uh, yeah, the top-notch, top-notch company.
taking race mile 180 to the checkered flag and all I can say is it is brutal. I've always heard stories about San Felipe being the most brutal ball haul race and now that I'm down here and I pre-ran it and we're here, it really is the most fucking brutal race out there. It's great. If you didn't understand that, you said, yeah, it's gnarly. Uh, driving with Michael, this is uh, something we've always wanted to do. We've wanted to do it for years. Uh, Michael's been in multiple race cars. He's been racing for years. Uh, he's a co-driver for uh, UTVs. He's been a co-driver on Class 10 down in Mexico. And I always help him out uh, chasing and cha in a chase vehicle. But to actually get in, in the car with Michael, me driving for half the race and Michael driving the other half, it's, uh, it's great. It's a great feeling to be able to do that. So we're going to start out with my younger son, I'm going to co-drive for the first 90 miles and then we're going to switch and I'm going to drive for about another 45 miles and my older son's going to get in and co-drive and then about mile 180 he's going to drive the rest of the way and I'm going to co-drive. So I get a chance to drive the whole thing or be in the car the whole time. But uh, this is our first time racing together, we're really excited, I know my boy is there the first time and so we're looking forward to it. It's a great experience, not like any other uh, liver race in any Baja race. I've just driven this down in Cabo and the terrain was a lot more uh, smooth out there. So when I got out here I was expecting the same. And I got out on the racetrack and the kidneys kind of hurt now, but <laughs> it's worth it. It's well worth it. I started racing him when I was uh, a young, young guy. Uh, motocross, motorcycles and that, that was probably my dirt experience and then I moved on to stock cars and dirt, uh, dirt track and, uh, and uh, I run some NASCAR stuff now, uh, and just some middle road racing. So you know, over my, over my lifetime I've done quite a bit of stuff, cars, motorcycles, boats, just about everything. One thing I never have done is competed in an off-road race before, it's kind of on my bucket list so uh, this is a good opportunity. Uh, the race cars have been in just perfect condition. You know, they, uh, the, the Baja Challenge crew has these cars at the top of their game. Um, I know that you can tell that the, the time that they spend to keep them up and keep them running, not to mention the, the, the chase vehicles. They, they keep us, uh, they keep them going. You blow a tire, broke, did break one rim in the, in the uh, pre running, uh, lost the CV joint, but the crew is right there behind to help us put it back together. Good competition, you know. I, there's there's some pretty tough guys here. Um, 
You know, I've, uh, we've, we've kind of diced around with most of the last three days. We expect that um, at the end of the day, we should, uh, we're hoping to come in first. I guess whoever keeps these cars together is uh, probably going to be the team that wins us. Take care of the vehicle. I know the, the vehicle can take a good beating, but uh, definitely just smooth and fast. And uh, I think that's our game plan: is smooth, fast, and smooth.
we did a, like a pre-running course, uh, me and Michael, uh, out of Ensenada, in a uh, horsepower ranch. We, we drove about 220 miles, and we were really impressed with the car. We were really impressed uh, with the support and the mechanics that went along with us. I'm be driving the last 90 miles. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And, you know, it's just pretty awesome that I get to come down here and do this. Yeah. You know, some of those some of those whoop sections were gnarly, but they're a lot of fun. <laughs> Services. I, I would have never expected what we what we received from it from the second we got here until like right now. I mean, they've been there for every need that we might have. They've been there. I mean, from the cars to to the, the hospitality, hotels, logistics, everything's there. It's, I would highly recommend um, BC Challenge cars. I'm uh, so excited to be here today. Uh, last year we were able to participate in what was called the toughest Baja 1000 to date. And this year we get to be in the longest Baja 1000 to date. The most miles are, all of our sections are well over 400 miles each. Yeah, you wake up with a real big smile today. Uh, this is something that I've wanted to do for at least 10 years. And I couldn't be more thrilled to be here.
eh, muy contentos y muy felices de estar compartiendo acá con esta gran familia de, de México, de Ensenada, de USA. Uh, well, off-road racing is pretty limited. I come from a motorcycle racing background, so I've um, done a bunch of circuit racing. I'm Canadian, so uh, I ride around Most Board and Shannonville and the tracks up there. And I uh, have done a little bit of uh, off-road racing as well, but uh, pretty new to the, the whole Baja experience, so really relieved to have this uh, incredible team of guys through the, uh, the wide open crew. Las expectativas son muy altas porque sabemos que es una competencia bastante exigente y fuerte. Bud Brutzman uh, put us all together. I think we've got a super, super solid team. We've got guys with all different backgrounds that are at the top of their game, all coming to Baja to put their skills to the test. the finish rate for Wyoming, 100%. I've never, you know, in all the announcing, whether I announce also for the other series on the other side of the border. We have four teams this year going into uh, this race, and uh, I know you guys like the Peninsula run. We had a lot of fun, I think, two years ago. The champions are here. There are uh, three other teams going up against them. But to like I say, Rock, everybody, thank you for inviting me here. Uh, I'm supposed to be at the monster party. I'd rather be here with you guys. So, like I said, I'm happy for you. And what a place in Irish Club Bar in Mexico. That's incredible. Once you come down here and race and hang out in Mexico, you're hooked, like the rest of us. All right, we're going to introduce the teams. Oh, thank you for the introduction, Bert. You know, the, the Baja 1000, watching these videos, it's surreal. It's amazing to be down here. It's the biggest race of the year. And uh, we just had a cheers over there. It's a privilege of my year, of my racing career, to be part of this team, part of this community. I first time the Baja. This is uh, Andrew, Josh, and Tom. The same. So this is our team this year. Um, had a great time last year. Uh, this is Doug Anderson, this is Lee Wright, and Mark Owens, and Joe, and Toronto. Dustin Wise. I just want to say thank you to all the volunteers, the big friends, and all the guys that make this thing work.
You know, Baja is, uh, is a series of adventures from one moment to another. So I had never flown out of Ensenada before. That was a first. And uh, although I got to fly over some beautiful countryside, um, and I got to see Gonzaga Bay and Landon Bay of LA, which was a lot of fun. But, um, but it was just another Baja adventure. We had great tacos in town, which was a lot of fun. Sticker. So, all led up to a perfect day. We're here in Catavina. Got to rest a little bit, had a great dinner. Car should be here maybe an hour or two. Absolutely incredible. Um, silt was uh, pretty tough. Um, dust was hanging on the road. Uh, couldn't really get up too close to send anybody to pass them, and had to wait for mistakes. Uh, but uh, the silt, the silt was just absolutely, absolutely incredible. Yeah. No, we're good. Oh, it was outstanding. Uh, last year's course was uh, much rougher. Uh, this year, a lot of fast sections, a lot of silt this year, uh, a lot of washed out road. Uh, technical sections up in the first, first early half. Uh, some really wide open fast sections down through the center. Uh, a lot of fun though, just a lot of fun. Realmente estoy, me ha encantado. Hace años que es un sueño, es como el Dakar, ¿no? Participar en la Baja Mil es como un sueño para todos los que nos gusta el todoterreno, el 4x4 y el, y el rally. Y, y realmente ha superado las expectativas de lo que pensaba la carrera. Me ha gustado mucho. One more time, one more time. Get the snacks ready. <laughs> well, I've got a co-driver, Dustin, who works for Wide Open, so got like a pro with me, which is great. And uh, it's a long run. It's the longest section in the middle of the night. Right now, I don't know what time it is, but I know it's morning. Well, we got a little bit of everything. We start out with the pavement section, go right into a water section, and plenty of silt and plenty of uh, good, fun, exciting sections. It's going to be fun. It was an incredible ride coming out of Ensenada. Uh, my my uh, driving partner here, Doug, he actually drove out of Ensenada and we switched it up a couple of times each. We both got about a couple hundred miles. We had a fantastic time, fun stuff. Uh, the seal was pretty rough, but you know, we made it through it and uh, didn't hurt anything on the car and, and here we are at Catavina. Wide open has been uh, the best. They really have. All the crews are excited to be here and. They have uh, uh, just gone to extra lengths to make sure that we're taken care of and safe and, uh, and having a good time. Incredibly organized, so 
wouldn't have been the same with uh, anybody else. I'll tell you, uh, six, six o'clock in the morning, we started this uh, two days ago. The anticipation, all of the drama from the silt beds to lakes and rivers and mis mishaps and, and uh, lack of sleep. And we're, we're waiting for the last 17 miles for the car to come in. Uh, it, it's been an amazing couple of days out here in uh, Baja, Mexico. Started back up in Ensenada with uh, high hopes and anxieties. Uh, now we're standing in La Paz, uh, 1,275 miles later. Uh, it's been a great week out here. Uh, really appreciate all the help of all the wide open crew. Muy roto y muy duro. A comparación del año pasado, yo creo que fue, al ser un poco más larga, fue muy duro también. ¿eh? You know, the Baja 1000 is always uh, a feat just to finish. Uh, you know, we have, we have a great team. I want to thank BF Goodrich and all the wide open guys for getting us through. It's, uh, it's never easy. It's never easy for anybody. And uh, that's why we all come down to do it because it's uh, survival. It's a challenge to finish. Uh, it's a war of attrition, meaning we just have to survive. Uh, push it as best we can and uh, get across the finish line.